Hey everybody, Mr. Gibson here. So for this assignment, you are taking your first quiz. And what I wanted to make this video for is just for people who uh, usually receive the accommodations of having the quizzes or tests in your classes read to you. Um, I wanted to make a video of me reading the quiz questions and uh, answer choices. Uh, like I said, for people who uh, usually receive those accommodations. So I'm just gonna go through uh, read the questions and answer choices. I'm not going to give away answers. I'm not going to give you any hints or anything like that. It's just very straightforward, okay? So this is unit one, quiz one over cell division. You've been learning about cell division so far, so that is what this quiz is over. First question is, what is your first name? Pretty straightforward. Just put your first name there. And then what is your last name? And then who is your teacher? You'll put my name. All right, and the first section of the quiz is multiple choice. There are a few of these. Uh, the first multiple choice question says, which of the following processes is directly responsible for growth in living organisms? All right. A says the division of cells into two genetically identical cells. B says the movement of water across the cell membrane. C says the production of productive cells called gametes. And D says the exchange of gases, oxygen, of the gases, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Number two, DNA replication is an important part of cellular division because the correct because correct replication a ensures that gen, identical and complete genetic information is passed to both daughter cells b produces mutations that are usually advantageous for the survival of the organism c combines sperm and egg to form a zygote that will develop into a new organism or d communicates information about the cellular environment to adjacent cells number three Differentiation of cells is responsible for which feature of complex organisms? Without differentiation, complex organisms would not A, require nutrients for growth, B, be multicellular, C, have specialized tissues, or D, respond to, the, to their environment. Number four, mitosis explain, mitosis maintains, <laughs> sorry, uh, complex organisms by which of the following processes? A, the removal of waste from the body, B, the exchange of gas with the environment, C, the formation of sperm and egg, or D, the healing of a cut after an injury. And number five, complex organisms develop specialized tissues as a direct result of which the following processes, A, cellular respiration, B, cellular differentiation, C, cellular growth, or D, cellular division. All right, and that's all the multiple choice. Moving on to the short answer questions, which there are three. All right, number six, explain how the role of cellular division is essential in organisms. So you're just going to type your answer there. Number seven, why is cellular differentiation important to complex organisms? You're gonna type your answer there. And number eight, list the steps of the entire cell cycle and indicate how many chromosomes would be in a human cell during each step. So you're wanting to name all the phases of the cell cycle, okay? And tell me how many chromosomes, if humans normally have 46 in our normal cells, how many would we have in each phase of the cell cycle? All right. And the last part of the quiz is a CER. So it says write a claim as to what changes are occurring in both steps in the image below. Support your claim with evidence and explain how your evidence supports your claim with reasoning. So here you have two steps. You have this step right here this cell going to these cells, explain what that is called. And then you have these cells becoming these cells, explain what that step is called. So in your claim, um, you are just stating what is happening in each step, okay? So you could say the picture shows blank. You're just answering the question in your claim in a single complete sentence. Your evidence, you're going to tell, uh, you're gonna list some information um, that told you how you knew what the claim was. It's going to back up your claim. It's going to prove your claim correct, okay? And then in your reasoning, you're going to type a paragraph explaining how your evidence, how what you typed here supports your claim, okay? And that is the quiz. Very straightforward. Hopefully it won't be too hard. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or call me.